Are you serious? Are you serious? Get some coffee and calm down or get the tea.com or whatever it is you're drinking tonight. But pray not only for the people of Florida, but the people of Cuba. 36 foot waves slammed into Havana uh, this early this morning. Uh, Unbelievable, unprecedented Hurricane Irma. 36 feet high waves smashing businesses along Havana's seaside drive this morning in the wake of Hurricane Irma, plummeting the famous hotels such as the Copacabana, which were evacuated along with flooded neighborhoods in the area. First responders spent the night in preparation in the uh, advancing waves of Hurricane Irma, rescuing people from their homes in central Havana as the sea struck with historic force in the flood-prone area, even as the storm approached Florida to the north. So it's an amazing storm. As the waves were crashing Havana, Cuba, the wind was, was getting ready to come ashore in the Florida Keys. Unbelievable. And since making landfall in the Florida Keys, it's went on to make landfall a second time, this time in uh, the uh, Marco Islands. And Marco Islands gets hit heavy. Then Naples, Florida. And, and now headed to Fort Myer and other and soon St. Pete and Tampa. It's an ugly situation with a million people already losing power throughout Florida and 10 million expected to lose power in the next 24 hours. Winds are whipping. The waves are raising. The, the, the debris is flying and tornadoes are spinning off even in Fort Lauderdale and Broward County and Miami. And the storm surge will be 15 feet high in places like Marco Island and Naples and Fort Myers, where my sister is and, and my uh, niece. So please pray for them. But I'm praying for everybody. I'm praying for everybody in Cuba and I'm praying for everybody in Florida because I really know that this is a storm of biblical proportion. This is the apocalyptic hour. Folks, do you believe me now that the solar eclipse 20 days ago was a warning for America and the world? Folks, we're only halfway through the 40 days of repentance, the warning from God, the sign in the heavens. The Bible said, listen to this verse in Luke 21, 25. Just listen to the verse. Just ask yourself, is this happening? And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. I mean, are you serious? Are you serious? And Revelation 12, constellation, coming up in a few days on September 23rd, this 2000 year constellation alignment in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, will come to pass on the Feast of Trumpets on September 23rd. I'll be preaching that night in Hyman, Pennsylvania. Wow, are you serious? Why don't you join me? Are you serious? Tri-State Ministries in Hyman, Pennsylvania. Be a good place to be when this prophetic night develops. But first, pray for Florida tonight. Really, everybody, pray, intercede. I need some prayer warriors praying for all the Floridians tonight. Stephen Bendenoon, we're praying for you. We know you're covering the storm uh, in Orlando, Florida. And we can see that you're already getting the wind and the rain and you're on the opposite side of the coast. What? I'll be back with more folks in just a moment. Wow.